Hi, I'm Trawler Specialist Jeff Merrill. Today I'm up in Napa, California aboard the Krogan 39 Lady Di. Lady Di is hull number one of the Krogan 39 series with 50 sister ships that followed after her. Back in 1988, she was on the cover of Passage Maker Magazine. When you arrive by dinghy, you can enter the cockpit and the door in the transom. Of course, I have teak decking, a nice overhead, double side decks, ladder up to the boat deck and flybridge. Hey, let's take a look at the interior. Let's come on into the salon. I'm in the salon of Lady Di. Flat screen television, set T, opening windows, port and starboard, L-shaped dinette on the starboard side, custom teak high-low table, parquet wood floor, and I go forward up to the galley on the starboard side. The galley on Lady Di has overhead locker storage, a single sink, lockers and drawers, three burner propane stove and oven, tundra refrigerator freezer, microwave oven. I feel very safe and secure here for underway. This is a galley that's designed for cooking at sea. Pilot House in Lady Di has plenty of headroom, has excellent visibility, a wonderful console of electronics, a full-size chart table, seating with a table. There are doors outboard on either side. I can come up from the salon galley area or go forward to the stateroom and head. I love the master stateroom on Lady Di. You have a, a large island berth, double walk around, hanging lockers outboard with louvered doors, opening port lights, a hatch above. It'd be very comfortable to sleep here when you're at anchor or underway. From the lower level landing, you come right into the engine room, and of course the first thing you're going to notice is the stand-up headroom. There's a hot water heater outboard, Raycor fuel filters, main engine on center line, and then a nice workbench with tools outboard on the starboard side. This layout really works. I can easily get back to the sides of the engine and can tunnel back aft to the stuffing box. There's plenty of storage back behind me, and I really like the way you can move around in this engine room. The side decks on Lady Di are covered overhead, high bulwark, varnish cap rail, teak decking, opening windows in the salon, and it's very easy for access to go from the cockpit to the foredeck all the way around the boat. deck on Lady Di is accessible from either side deck. The house covers the master stateroom, which is forward. Three big windows in the pilot house for great visibility. Big bow pulpit forward, vertical windlass, and dual anchors ready to go. You get up to the boat deck in the flybridge area from the stairway in the cockpit. Tender is on center line. Mast and boom, which is used to launch and retrieve the tender. One step up to the flybridge. Seating outboard on both sides, wonderful visibility, bimini top above, and the helm station's on center line with my engine controls, and I have nice sight lines for the windlass. Thanks for joining me aboard Lady Di today. I hope you have a better feel for the simplicity and the elegance of this magnificent 39-foot trawler. Lady Di is capable of crossing oceans. She's extraordinary. I'd love to get you on board. If you'd like to know more, please feel free to call me or text me. My number is 949-355-4950, or you can send an email to jeff.merrill at jmys.com. I look forward to hearing from you.